It's Friday, Weekend Warrior. I'm Darren, and this is three things you need to know for Friday, April 19th. Many countries have made short selling illegal. Short selling can eventually delist and bankrupt a company, especially if it's left unregulated. In response to heavy shorting of their stock, Trump Media is telling its shareholders to prevent ticker DJT from being loaned out to shorts. Good luck with that. They always find a way. Previously owned home sales went down 4.3% month to month and mortgage rates are up over 7% again. Throw in that prices are at record highs to the tune of 4.8% increase over last year and you have a recipe for a bad housing market. The median price of an existing home is $393,500. Go ahead and get that fourth job. Fed President John Williams sees no urgency to make any interest rate cuts anytime soon. Then he gives the usual excuse of we will be data dependent. He said that if the data tells them they need to go back up, then that's what they should do. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. We are doomed. Is Dr. Doom near? Royce writes, The doomsday clock was conceived by scientists who were part of the Manhattan Project, which is the secret U.S. research project during World War II that developed the first nuclear weapons. The creation of the doomsday clock is closely linked with the profound impact of the atomic bomb and the subsequent ethical, political, and scientific reactions to their unprecedented capability. The Manhattan Project began in 1939, driven by fears that Nazi Germany was developing nuclear weapons. It was directed by Major General Leslie Groves of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and its scientific director was American physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer. The project brought together some of the greatest scientific minds from around the world, including Robert Oppenheimer, Enrico Fermi, and Richard Feynman, among others. The project's primary locations included Los Alamos, New Mexico, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington. These sites were involved in various aspects of designing, building, and testing the atomic bombs. The first successful test of the atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, took place on July 16, 1945, in the New Mexico desert. The Doomsday Clock is a symbolic representation of the likelihood of a human-made global catastrophe maintained since 1947 by the members of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists Science and Security Board. The closer the clock is set to midnight, the closer scientists believe the world is to global disaster. Since its inception in 1947, the Doomsday Clock has served as a visual metaphor for urgency and the need for action regarding global threats. Initially set at 7 minutes to midnight, its adjustments over the years have reflected worsening or improving global conditions. The annual adjustments of the clock generate significant public and media attention, educating people on the severity and immediacy of threats such as nuclear proliferation, climate change, and technological developments. The symbolism of the clock influences public opinion and policy. For example, movements in the clock can prompt discussions in policy-making circles, potentially leading to legislative and diplomatic efforts to address the cited threats. The involvement of esteemed scientists like Albert Einstein and Robert Oppenheimer in its creation, and the continued involvement of experts in its adjustments, lend the clock scientific credibility and authority. Stop watching Start Living Using Pips, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Hi, I'm E.J. Williams. Each year, millions of animals are abandoned and more than a million are euthanized before they can be rescued. Organizations like American Humane are working to harness the healing power of the human-animal bond, as animals can be trained as life-saving service and therapy dogs to help veterans, the elderly, and children with special needs to overcome the obstacles of everyday life. To find out how you can help give animals and the people they help a new leash on life, please visit AmericanHumane.org. Pips, pick of the day, and it's Fall Down Friday. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible downtrend for First Solar Inc., that's FSLR. They are headquartered in Arizona. They are a solar technology company which engages in the provision of solar modules. Current price is $174.29, 52-week high of $232, and a 52-week low of $129.22. We are not financial advisors. We provide a service. Please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. 
Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.